Good morning, everyone. This Hello. is... Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is the... Uh, uh, the Gold Squadron podcast live uh, live stream coming to you from Poland. Krakow. We are at the yep. We are at the European Championships, which is akin to Gen Con. If you are uh, um, watching from the U.S. Uh, very early in the morning, I am your host Andrew Knuckles uh, with uh, DU. That's me. Hi. That's you. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I'm 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 all jazzed about the Obi Wan Disney yeah. Plus series. That's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, this is round two. Uh, we had um, uh, round one just a little bit ago, and, and you could see here uh, what we were talking about uh, in terms of a uh, uh, quick quick pace of yes. just running the tournament. Yeah, going real fast because um, we're five already minutes off the clock already. Yep, uh, they they love to go super fast. So. We're going to look at some of these lists here for round two. So we have James Dowdle, Dowdle, Dowd Dowdle probably, um, running 5A. So we have two Blue Squad recruits uh, with Heroic and Advanced Optics, then Zari with Heroic Crackshot Advanced Optics, Greer with Heroic Advanced Optics, and Tally with Heroic Crackshot Advanced Optics. Uh, this is a great list. It's... So consistent yes. and amazing. Uh, this is um, uh, probably one of the the most consistent attack dice list, assuming that you have a focus. Uh, generally, it's about a 12% chance that you roll the, the focus blank. <laughs> Everything else uh. is, is pretty good. You actually don't mind rolling double blanks because you have the heroic. Then we have Archibald Zamoni in the left corner. Right corner, excuse me. <laughs> Running Seven Sister, which is um, not something you normally see with Fire Control System. Then Darth Vader with Fire Control System and a Defender, Colonel Vessery, the most expensive Defender in the game, on the board, crack shot, jamming beam. Uh, so uh, when we saw this, uh, I was saying to you, um, there's something to Seven Sister. Uh, I, I don't know if she's necessarily priced where she needs to be to become a... A, a, you know, a, a useful staple. Mm -hmm. uh, he, yeah. So her ability is, while you perform a primary attack, before you neutralize results, or before the neutralize results, results step, you may spend two force to cancel one evade. So you, you basically are just giving yourself a, a, a crack shot every two turns if you want to spend it that way. Now with only two dice, uh, that, that can help. Uh, it, it'll be very interesting to see this matchup when it comes to um, the the three agility uh, A wings, uh, and also yes, uh, James is from the 186 Squadron podcast. Thank you, Jesper. I, I forgot to he he actually reminded me to tag him, uh, and then I forgot to tag him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is hard. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, Dion's a machine. Yeah, D Dion um, does this uh, so much better than I do um, because he, he's, he's normally on, like, the, the running part of it, and I'm just there as the, as the co-host. Uh, what I'm doing now. Yeah. It's super, super easy, except I'm, I'm still bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we will try and get Dion on stream uh, today. Uh, he did win his first match, which is why uh, he is not hosting right now because he is playing. We convinced him that that is what he had to do. He flew all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, came to Poland to be at Euros. It would be a shame if he didn't actually get to play. So oh. I'm going to go ahead and put our poll up so I, I, don't, I don't forget it like I did last time. And choose your champion. Start poll. So put ones and twos who you think is going to win. Or, yeah. Who do you think has the best chance here? I actually think there's a pretty gonna gonna be a pretty even split. Uh, Vessery is a very good deterrent for uh, for two dice attacks. He's uh, he's got a lot of health. He has three agility. He has the focus evade. He can he can have <coughs> equal time on target than uh, as the A wings do. And then you also have Vader still on the list. And Vader is terrifying. Uh, Pretty much against anyone. I mean, which he should be, right? He's Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, about Vader, 
Uh, I, I know it's dangerous to always get into the mentality of you, ha you, know, you have to have uh, a certain upgrade, auto include, mm -hmm. uh, because then w when you're locked into something, it means you're automatically not seeing other things. Yeah. Uh, however, having, having said that, I personally cannot bring myself to, to play Darth Vader without afterburners. Yeah, not having afterburners is going to be big in this match just because of the fact that um, Vader only having a single reposition uh, definitely hurts, and it not being boost hurts even more. Mm -hmm. uh, so you really want to have that option, uh, especially whenever you, you want to K-turn your Talon roll and then really gap close to uh, or arc dodge. It is, yes, uh, D. Yoon is my co-host today. Now, the, probably the reason why uh, there is no afterburners in this list is because this is... It's a Vessery squad. <laughs> yeah, it's, yes, it's the Vessery cost. <laughs> So we already see um, a much more aggressive approach for both players than we did last game. <laughs> uh, looks well, like we're going to have the, some the shots this round. Uh, yeah. Makes perfect sense. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you you want to get in there. You want to you want to start start hitting as as much as you can because there's a lot of agility <laughs> dice. Uh, actually, every ship in this uh, in this game has three agility. That's pretty rare, right? Yeah, correct. <laughs> 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 uh, I I do think it's interesting that uh, Archibald didn't have any sort of flanker like the, he there he's just going gets going for it just going for the joust <laughs> uh here we go Oop. looks like uh he probably blanked out doesn't doesn't know if he wants to spend that i'm gonna turn on there we go so we can actually hear what they are saying uh not spending the focus no reason to Want, wants to make sure that he doesn't take any free damage I th th threw the do double token stack and. Uh, yep. I mean, yeah, it's just no, not no worth thank it. Thank you. Two evades. <laughs> safe. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen them before. <laughs> So luckily, there's only two blues in this list, so it's not super important that we have the the. Oh, they didn't. Um. Uh, the, yeah, because we we can see the we can see the the pilot skills. <laughs> uh, no damage done at all for this round. Uh, just just kind of throwing some pot shots, maybe seeing if someone's dice uh, didn't like them this round. But uh, looks like we don't have anything else uh, happening. So uh, I'm I, looking at Vessery. James can. J James can basically block, block everything. Yeah. Uh, which is that's not a that's that's not what Vessery wants. Obviously, <laughs> I mean, you, you, <laughs> not even with a, a defender, you really want to have. You really want to have all the tokens, obviously, but you you don't want to be you don't want to have your over, your dice overloaded, but just by multiple shots coming right. in. Right. So this morning you asked me a question. You went, you looked at me in the eyes, yeah. and I thought it was a general question, but specifically to me, you asked me, "Why aren't you flying five A wings?" Yeah. <laughs> so the the reason why I ask, uh, and this has actually already been brought up in chat. Uh, so the A wings are consistent, are so consistent that you you feel at least on attack, you feel that you are removing the um, the variance in the game and. We will see who has first player. I believe it is James for this list. Um, because Archibald. No, I, I believe Archibald moved his 
fives before Tolly. Did he? Is my recollection. Let me go over here. <laughs> well, we, we, will, we will find out this round. No, no, but Tolly fired at Vessery first? Yes. But Vessery's a four, isn't he? Ah, so that's irrelevant. <laughs> Oh, those are four, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So, so we'll we'll see who uh, we'll see who moves. Uh, I'm so good at X moves. Her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did better than me yesterday. Uh, <laughs> again, very strange day. Very yep. strange. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the A wings are just so consistent with their attack dice. Uh, you you pretty much have a 12 percent chance to just not max out hits, almost like every time you roll dice, and. Um, there. So, like, if you if you are variance averse, uh, then it's it's actually a good list to fly. Like, I, I flew it for hyperspace trials back uh, in the in the spring, and it was great. I mean, it it felt it really fun to fly, but then it was also super consistent. You knew what you were getting yourself into uh, every time you flew the list. Uh, where sometimes, like, and it, uh, there isn't really a bad like terrible matchup for it. Sure, there are matchups you don't want. But they're also match like if you find that like they're and they're not really good against like super good against everything either. They're just consistent. They're always they're always performing exactly how you expect them to. Front front and rear arc plus the boost, which allows you to like when you, when you have a rear arc, you you want to be able to shift it that forty five degrees. Yeah. Um, just this, actions galore. Uh. If you run into something like Death Troopers, you go, oh, no. But yeah. As but aside from that, you're never, right, like you said, just never. Yeah. like. It, uh, yes, it's never like, oh, this is a terrible matchup. I mean, you can you can kill stuff by paper cuts. Um, you just have to, you have to play it right. There is uh, a certain amount of green variance, which is interesting. Yeah. So well, it, like, you, you like get said, fired upon first with a focus, typically. Yeah. So you, you, you get the best of that world. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you do have shields, so yep. there's that initial crit mitigation. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes you you can be like, ah, oh, I guess I'll take I'll take that one just so I can have an, a more accurate shot coming in. Uh, but, but you know, with with any three agility, four health ship, sometimes they just die. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes they're just they're gone. <laughs> yeah, this is a big turn. So uh, it's understandable that both players are taking. Well, this is a this is a really big turn. Yeah, this is massive. Yep. So um, we are done with the first engagement. It looks like you guys are uh, banking pretty heavily on James. So we're going to finish our poll, and we're going to see how this plays out. And the answer to your question was, I did. Fly, <laughs> five A wings. Uh, it was it was a while back when Lula was even cheaper. Yeah, uh, it was great then. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, like, uh, and it's, it's not like you're lo losing <laughs> all that much. Yeah, no, you're you're really not. I mean, you still get an I five in the list. It's Tally. She's cheaper, obviously, or he. No, it's a she. Um, but then like, so every you know everyone all, always talks about Lula. Lula is really good, absolutely. Um, but I, I really think that Greer is the best A-Wing because you just have the free... Even more action. You, you just have more actions. You, just, you, you, give the, you can have three, three actions a turn with Greer for free. Mm -hmm. And you can even be stressed, and it still doesn't matter. And Zari lets you be deliberately bad. Yes. <laughs> and if you're good... <laughs> if, you're, if you're good... And allowed to be deliberately bad... Yep. That's pretty astounding as well. Yep. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see the Blues go in for some blocks here. Probably a three bank, two bank. And then we're probably going to see another two bank here. That pretty much blocks Vessery's outs for everything. Uh, you may just see Archibald try and go for a five straight and dodge as many arcs as he can. That would be the... The first option I would <laughs> I would consider. Yeah.
Ah, uh, the relaxing blue five straight. <laughs> <laughs> Just tap that pedal. So I think I think you just focus rotate with this blue here. Cuz you you want him to stay there to clog that space. Yep. Yep, there there's the rotate. So we also could see we could see the Vessery bamboozle and him just do like a one bank or something. <laughs> And, ju and just to, to try and um, try and keep that keep that arc wide. Looks like he's just going to focus and stay there, trying to block that three bank, and then just just setting up the setting up the firing squad here. Because you, you, I think with against Archibald's list, you really want to put as much damage into Vessery as you can early. Well, especially if, especially since Vessery is the one that's been served up. Yep. Uh, looks like we uh, missed a block there. I heard, I heard a groan. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, um, he was upset about about missing that one. Maybe he thought he was going to be a, a two straight. Looks like we have a, a pretty uh, a, a pretty different decent split in chat uh, for for rooting for for James and Archibald uh, and Archibald is from Sweden uh, that is where he's from and there is the disengage right so because yeah, Tali couldn't block it yeah I keep thinking Vessery is uh, uh, is a five is a five yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm pretty sure you just I'm pretty sure you just boost here. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, maybe going for the block on tally. Yep. Yeah, yeah ju just to make sure that he just doesn't get a range one shot. And it's possible once we see where Vader lands, it's possible that we just we we see. Just one pot shot into Vessery and everything else into maybe Seven Sister. <clears throat> and and see this is where so this blue right here, he did the three hard. If he would have done the three bank, he could have boosted here and gotten the block and then done the two hard or the two bank with uh, with this blue instead, instead of going super fast and trying to get a, a straight block. Yeah, very, uh, very good turn for Archibald here for the positioning. And the zero bumps, yeah. Yeah, zero. Yeah, zero in, bumps. In fact, he he got the he got the bump, bump which the, is the not what way. you were thinking was going to happen. So here we go. Looks like Vader range two into Greer, which is the one you want to take out first. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. heroic. That's why it's there. Yes. <laughs> Warming up those dice. There we go. <laughs> you you take a shield here. Nope. Talk us through that. Wait, what's the... Why why you take the shield? Mm -hmm. um, because you still have at least one more shot coming into you. And you have a range two shot on Devader or Seven Sister. Gotcha. Ooh, <laughs> he doesn't no. have a row. So that's two blank outs in a row from both players. <laughs> <laughs> so that is one damage into Seventh Sister. Seventh Sister, just one crit into, into Greer, no damage. You, you keep going into Seven Sister here. Yep. And that's why you keep the focus. Oh, oh my gosh. 
one more shield on. Wow. All right, all right. <laughs> this is the one. This is, this, this is the one. Easy. There we go. Yep, spend that force. Ooh. Crack shot. One more damage onto Seven Sister. Looks like I'd be surprised. Che checking with the laser here just to see. He does have the range. Oh no, it doesn't. Definitely. He didn't yeah. have the arc. Range two on Vessery. and there, there are the evades that Seven Sister so desperately needed. <laughs> so no damage done to James this turn. Archibald had a really, really hard. Uh, Hard round with Seven Sister, doing uh, six blanks in a row. So what? What was uh, Seven Sister's action? That's um, it. I think it uh, maybe it took a target lock. Uh, yeah, I think I think. Um, Seven Sister moved the target lock over to Greer, which is... It's still there? Yeah. Got it. So maybe he... Maybe Set Archibald forgot fire control system because he, he did only net one hit and he did not reroll. I was wondering about that. Seven Sister took a focus? Ah, uh, okay. There's the Okay. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> We're uh, both fairly sleep-deprived. <laughs> D is on, like, 90 minutes of sleep. I had, like, three hours of sleep. We, we were... Uh, the English took us out yesterday, um, and uh, we drank too much. <laughs> I drank the right amount. He drank the right amount. Yeah. Tyler and Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they maybe still be dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do we turn off the dice in between rounds, or what do we do here with the just leave them? Ah, uh, we can. There we go. We'll we'll pop them off. So we have a we have a pretty pretty good engagement next turn for James. Uh, he can he can double down pretty hard on to seven sister. Vader is in a in a decent position to at least uh, try and put some more damage into something. Vessery probably just just K turns just K turns. But it's possible. I'm actually pretty sure that his K turn will end him right here, so he'd hit the gas cloud coming back out. But you you really need to get those guns on, especially after that turn where Seven Sister took damage that she probably shouldn't have. Right. Um, I I think Vessery. I guess you could three turn three like two three turn three turn as well. Yeah. And then, but then you get that. Debris in the way. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think it's just a simple K and just jam right back. And just deal with... Yeah, and just deal with not having having options. Right. Uh, you might get the target lock, right? Uh, Vessery's ability. Oh, yeah, because Vessery's ability. Yeah, so then, yeah, you probably just K-turn here. So just a two straight. Setting up this kill box. Focus rotate. Yep, two turned away. And uh, and he's just going to take a focus. No reason to rotate to the front. So next year for XTC, we're actually going to try and get two American teams to oh, come over. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I heard this talk. Yeah, we're, we're going to try. <clears throat> I was not aware this was uh, legitimate talk. <laughs> uh, it's legit for me. <laughs> 
Uh, I would love Worlds in Europe. That would be amazing. Uh, also, the, the jet lag hasn't really been too bad. Uh, we just stayed up. Um, essentially, I stayed up like 36 hours to, oh. to try and reset my clock. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was really tired. But, well, after a certain point, you just kind of get into a... Uh, where, where you're like, you're so tired that you're not tired anymore. <laughs> uh, looks like we have a block but on Zari, but it doesn't matter because it's Zari. Yes. <laughs> Deliberately bad. Yep. Or a bump, not, not a block. Oh, that's so good. So no mods for Zari this turn, but still get a shot. And that's why the A-Wings are so consistent, because they always have shots. Uh, also, yes, I'm not looking forward to flying back on Monday, just because I'm seven hours ahead, and Ooh. to reset that schedule is not going to be fun. Uh, looks like he... Uh, I don't know if that was an intentional... No, that, bump that or seemed not. to be an error. Yeah. Uh, Greer definitely doesn't want that, especially if Vader is turning in, because that's going to be. That's I would think Vader is definitely turning yeah. in because uh, he has um, the seven sister yep. full, full backing for him, so that space is was largely unblockable. Yep. Get the evade. Yeah, and looks like he's going to boost towards the uh, towards the bottom of the board. Another solution. I mean, the boost does definitely helps you get back around right. real fast. And looks like Seven Sister, yep, is bugging out. And with Greer not being able to, to shoot back this turn, uh, Seven Sister will probably survive. And they have a... Uh, yep, Link into a focus. I... I've only seen these guys like twice. Once a Gen Con that beat the snot out of me. <laughs> One hard from Tally here. So if he does want to get a firing solution, yep, has to just focus rotate. And let's see what Vader does. There it is. Yeah, there's the one bank. Greer is going to be a very sad A-Wing this turn. That is a money shot. Uh, Greer did not get to... Uh, Greer bumped. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, you that's just, a spend the spend lock the situation, lock. Yep. yes. Sadly, no crits. Um, there you go. Could he? Couldn't he have uh, spent the force, turned it into a crit? He could have, yeah. Then, yeah. Hit, hit, crit, uh, or hit, hit crit, crit, crit. crit. So shield. two shields and one crit going into Greer. Fuel leak. Ah, uh, irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, after seeing uh, Seven Sister blank out twice, <laughs> yeah, and be put out one, I was I was kind of rooting for uh, Vader there. <laughs> Not that I've a uh, sorry, James. You get <laughs> sorry, one eighty six. <laughs> so we have a range three onto Seven Sister. Yep. Or so just one spending the focus. And he's just going into Vader here and spending the force and just saying, no, I don't want to take any damage. Looks like uh, we're shooting range one at Vader with Zari. It's probably a good call. Ooh, there's, there's some spring. <laughs> the 12% could happen. And spending the focus <laughs> and saying no.
<laughs> and <laughs> looks like uh, we had a a die on top of a die. That's the Chow Yun Fat God of Gamblers <laughs> roll. And a range one from the blue on Devader. Oh. oh. And that is three damage into Vader. Man, his, these these greens. Oh, note taking. <laughs> Sir, excuse me. He's just count, counting points. I, I do that mentally. I mean, but you, I mean, it's, it's open, open information. It's <laughs> open information. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> I mean, they have access to the same dice. <laughs> but yeah, the, I mean, three blank outs in a row, or well, not in a row, but three blank outs for three dice. What what are the odds on that? What? Well, no, what? Nine straight blanks. Nine straight blanks. Uh, I mean, that's that's what point three seven five to the ninth power. Like that's <laughs> absurd. <laughs> I don't have my phone near me. <laughs> So uh, also the, the force tokens that are being used, they are pink on one side and red on the other. The stream just doesn't pick up the colors very well. So we have... Points on the board, uh, 21 points for Archibald and 58 points for James. The, the triple blanks at the end there, that's just heartbreaking sometimes. It's going to be interesting with Vader only at two health and Seven Sister at one. Vesery's going to have a really heavy mountain to climb here. Or very large mountain, excuse me. Um, I'm too tired to, to do that math in my head. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it, it is, uh, oh, 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 excess of a uh, one in a thousand? One in a thousand? Ex excess of that, so. <laughs> uh, Some, someone in chat tell me. <laughs> I actually just hurt. My, my the right hemisphere of my brain trying to do that. <laughs> uh, so the way we picked our uh, teams for Team USA or players for Team USA was honestly just people that could actually swing going. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, like, honestly, I mean, it's expensive to fly. And, um, I mean, that's that's it. Dion asked us. and asked, Talked to Dion. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I got the the strong arm from Marcel. Yeah. <laughs> the heavy-handed uh, arm twisting. So there are only um, there are only two generics in the list. Uh, so we don't really need the the blue dots or the the color dots for these guys. And they're both healthy. They're they're the both moment. healthy. <laughs> yeah. So once one gets damaged, then we can um, we can we can follow where they're going. So, uh, obviously, uh, you, you can tell from the templates, if you're not familiar with their names, uh, both, both players are quality <laughs> uh, combatants. Um, yes. And it is, it, it is swinging down to a lot of, a, a lot of dice here. Like, uh, Vader, at this point, uh, is, is in a ton of trouble. Yeah, well, and, and Vader can't – Vader can take one shot, maybe two. He can't take more than that, especially he's, at two health. He's bleeding force too. Yeah. Uh, did he recover one? Um. Uh, I'll go take a peek. Yeah, go go go. Uh, ma make sure that they uh, make sure that they're just regening the force.
All right, so I see the situation there. Uh, they're using the the early prototype pink ones. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just hard to see. Yep. Uh, but both of them are down to uh, a single force. Yep. So it looks like we have uh, clipping the rock here on blue one, uh, and that was a focus. So no consequences. Well, seven like seven sisters should have her force. Both. Yes, because she didn't take a shot last last turn. So I would I'd go tell them. Did Vader not recover then? Uh, Va I think Vader used all of his, but make sure that they're yeah, yeah. recovering. So we have a one hard out of seven sister just taking an evade. She doesn't want to get shot at. Doing the three hard with Vessery, trying to get him back into the, the, the swing here. Really need to get that gun onto um, onto something. They are they are talking to them right now about the the force. T talking about midi chlorians and, and such. I got the preeminent headman Vince to marshal to uh, head over there. Uh, Archibald was under the impression that Thanks for catching up. Yeah, that uh, it was a, uh, uh, a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity, like uh, a May. Oh, no, they, they have to be regen. Yeah. Because they, they, uh, they are charges. Yep. So I heard uh, Archie say, I always do that. I always forget. So, <laughs> what I gather from that is he's been playing handcuffing himself. <laughs> yep. So it looks like we had a lock roll, but he did not opt into the... Ooh. Fire control system re-rolling. Doesn't want to... Ooh, two hits, two crits going into blue. Two hits and a crit into the first blue squad. What is the crit? Uh, disable power regulator. Ooh, that matters. Yes. <laughs> As assuming that it even survives the, the best reshot. Greer has fuel leak. Sorry, that's my fault for not keeping up with the damage. Possible dead blue here. Gets the target lock and absolutely spends it. Oh. <laughs> so you have to blank out twice here. Ooh. Not going to happen. Range three through the rock onto seven sister. Spending it. Hit crit. So consistent. But I actually don't think there's a, any way that he could. Nah, True. he'd have to blank out completely right. again. <laughs> I 
The, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Two crits <laughs> going into Vader. This is not going to be... He's got four dice, unobstructed. Two force, though. Two force, yeah. Ooh, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> so close. Razor's edge. What? Oh, he's... Op did he spend force? No. On his attack? I'm super confused. I as well. Why did he not spend the force? He's... Uh, I guess he's still alive. Maybe he was saving it? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so we need to make sure that they don't forget that uh, disabled. the blue has disabled power regulator. <laughs> uh, that's why you put crit tokens on the board. <laughs> yep, there we go. They figured it out. They're on it. Uh, Dion did win his first game. We don't know how the second game is going right now. Uh, we still have about 30 minutes left in the round. So, uh, yes, Dion is playing today, that, which is why I am here. And why I am here as a, as a, a desperate <laughs> uh, lower-tier yep. commentator. So we have... Uh, they basically both said, well, there's no reason to have a crit token on uh, Greer because Fuel Leak is wholly relevant. Fair. <laughs> it's just another damage card. Uh, Gen yeah, uh, Dion is flying. Uh, Jendon, Inquisitor, Grand Inquisitor, and Vader. Uh, while we are in the planning phase, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this round uh, in, uh, is sponsored by me, Curlpod Creatives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can use coupon code TEAMUSA for 20% off, uh, no minimum. And if you are domestic US, you can get free shipping for any orders over $35. So I highly recommend that you do that because I have vested interest in, <laughs> in your patronage. <laughs> I, would, I would like to sponsor curled paw creative <laughs> uh if if you could uh uh find the, the fly better patreon <laughs> uh substantial amount of uh those uh, those funds heads <laughs> heads that way which <laughs> in turn <laughs> yep uh yeah crit tokens are really important um i i get into the habit sometimes where i don't use them uh which is bad because i forget and then i mess up the game state and it's all my fault so if you take a crit, you absolutely should yeah, just best practices. Yeah, just just put it down. Even even if it's like like fuel leak or something like that, even though it's irrelevant for for Greer, like I would still probably have a crit token on it because uh, that actually could matter if Greer gets killed by an I four, mm -hmm. and then all of the like let's say it's a crit it's a hull breach so then the next one could be a blinded pilot or something and it, it actually could change the game state sure uh i can deliver to worlds uh i will have more than enough cargo space <laughs> so uh if you wanted me to mule things up there just let me know i will deliver farmer to worlds <laughs> Uh, and you may take him with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just see a K turn out of Vader here, just because he, he just wants to get rid of this this blue. And I think we need to see Vessery start hunting the other A's. This has been, this has been a tough match 
for Archibald. Now, Vessery's still at full health. He absolutely can, can, can do some work. Uh, Vess... Sorry, they're talking really loud right now. Uh, the... Vessery, I actually don't think, can clear with just a one straight from that A-wing. So that's why I believe he should just disengage. Vader absolutely uh, can clear. Uh, but Vessery does have to move before Vader. Ah, there's the catch right there. I keep thinking that, and, ah, never mind. I'm so used to flying ships that all are up at the same <laughs> initiative. <laughs> because that's so good. Uh, he may be able to fit the 4K. Ah, that's really close. Uh, nah. Or may maybe you just crash in. You can definitely fit the three bank, though. I would try the three bank. Yeah. And if Vader can't finish <laughs> finish that ship off, then the uh, I mean, you it, could, it happens you, you sometimes. You gotta push it. You get yep. well. I mean, he, he could get a shot with with uh, Vessery as well for the the double attack, but he's he's got to get around and get some more points. Yep. Well, and the and the big thing is is like I mean, all you have I mean, you just need max hits, right? <laughs> How hard is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, with, uh, with Vader range one with force and it, fire it, control, it should be pretty good. Yeah. Right. Because I, I think it does behoove Vessery to to engage that group while there's like the, he there's another like, uh, it's a group of, it's a cluster of three, one's in a in a rough spot and the other is currently having to uh, reposition. Yep. To come back around. Well, and it's it's even possible that he just he rolls the rolls the crit onto the debris here, and Greer, he doesn't even have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely possible. So I'd also, also like to remind the stream, uh, make sure that uh, to stick around after the round finishes, or after this game finishes, uh, we're going to be giving away some alt arts. And um, while we wait for you know pairings and all that kind of stuff for the next round. <laughs> they just had a random stress token in the middle of the board. It was, okay, still still alive. And, and this is why Greer is good, because he can still go over this, take the stress, and his, well, his arc's already backwards anyway, so it's fine. But <laughs> he could rotate it if he wanted to. Bonkers. <laughs> yeah, and there's the stress. Trying to do the 4K here. I, I don't think it fits. I can't. Imagine. Uh, oh, that's oh, fine. Wow. That's fine. This, <laughs> this perspective yeah, the per always the, messes Yeah, the with perspective me. is just all over the place. Oh. Wow. Okay. That was super close, though. <laughs> super close. Gets the focus of aid. Trying to get Seven Sister back into the mix here. That's a dangerous mix. It is. Yeah, you, you don't want to be there? I don't <laughs> know if I would have done that at one health. I think you boost and focus. Get out of uh, right. Get out I, of you arc. have to. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. I mean, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, is it is an option. Yeah, it is an option. I mean, at, at this point, though, like, you have to get points. And you have to try and swing it back. I, 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 as an impatient player, though, I still would not have turned Inquisitor in there. <laughs> I would have roped her back around behind and <laughs> tried to try to uh, 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 focus fire yeah. at, at an A-wing as a group. Yep. 
Uh, we have 20 minutes left in the round. So still, still a decent amount of time to, uh, to make, some, uh, make some magic happen for both sides. But of course, it's so easy to armchair general, second guess. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So doing a three turn. I, this is all. This is very curious to me. However. Uh, no, no, that is. Oh yeah, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, doing doing the three turn, not the talon. Um, that's. He's just gonna focus. Range two into seven sister here. Two hits. You don't need any mods. <laughs> and there are the two evades. Seven he, sister surviving longer than she probably should have. He may need that for Vader. <laughs> 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 See how this shot goes. Odds are good, so I over say. Yeah, there it is. Yep, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it was still a close one. <laughs> <laughs> so blue is down. See, now we don't even need to worry about the little uh, stickers because a blue's already dead. It's fine. Fantastic. 58 and, to and 59 points. that, yes. <laughs> I wonder if either player is aware. aware? Can, you run, can you run for that long with a one health Vader <laughs> against A-Wings? No. 17 minutes? No. Not, not, uh, no afterburners. No, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> and it looks like that is the last shot in the round. No damage done except for a dead blue. Very bold gambling by Archibald paid off. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, that was that was absolute gamble because if uh, Vessery couldn't get that kill, Vader dies. <laughs> Most, like I, yeah. Like there's almost no way. That he survives that. So imagine if it w and it was close, right? Let's yeah. say there was a bit more nub. Yeah. And that K turn failed. And it failed. Had it failed, yeah. <laughs> well, so if it would have failed, uh, Vader actually would have bumped into the blue because he wouldn't have been able to clear Vessery. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Dion did win his first round, yes. I'm trying to remember the angle of the... Yeah. Now, now, currently, Archibald is up by one point <laughs> uh, with, with uh, 16 minutes left in the round. Which is uh, too much time. Yeah, it's, it, it's too much time to just run and try and survive, especially with A-Wings. Uh, they, they are super fast. And it's also a Razor's Edge, too, because Seven Sister only has one health left, I and she is in a really awkward position. Jesper says it would have cleared. I have, I mean, I can't see the pers I mean, perspective for us is bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, especially with uh, Tali now fully prepared to just uh, straight hunt seven yep, sisters. Yep, and there, that crack shot still on the board. Yep. Uh, no Americans made the cut yesterday. <laughs> We're sorry. D is sad. He, he, he doesn't even have anything to say. <laughs> Seething. <laughs> um, so I generally don't allow coupon codes for custom orders. Uh, like, if you message me personally and then we set up something uh, for, like, a large order, uh, generally that does not. No normally a discount is included for, for stuff. Uh, but just message me uh, on Etsy and we can talk about it. It really just depends on how much you're ordering, honestly. So how many points... I'm, I'm actually curious here. How many points is... Seven Sister is 45 points. 
and Greer is 41 points total. <laughs> so still super close. So the real question is, do you double down with Vessery and Seven Sister and you close the gap? Well, that, that's why Vader's positioning confounded me. What, what, what was the ben I mean, it was a <laughs> baller move, but what, what was the benefit yeah. of turning in that direction? Um, I'm, I'm not I, grasping I, that. I think the... Because you you really like you want to overload the A wings dice with yes. just concentrated fire and burn Vader one. still yeah burn one and Vader still has the ability to remove one before it shoots him and you you have to utilize that that really heavy gun now this is a super tight match so this uh, I I was glad whenever I saw this matchup. Uh, I was like, I think this is going to be an exciting one. And uh, this has definitely been um, pretty, uh, pretty wild. Five straight, so it looks like we're going to go hunting tally for hunting. Tally. Tally, Tally. I don't know. Maybe it's the East Coast, West Coast thing. <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> is, uh, is Birmingham soda or pop? Oh, we're Coke. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Coke. It's not even it's for not, even for Pepsi or yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. So basically, the way it works in the South is, if I want a uh, if I want a, a a soft drink, uh huh, I say, can I have a Coke? And they say, what kind? <laughs> and uh, and then you, you could say an original or a classic, uh -huh. which is Coke, or Mr. Pib. Yeah, or or Mr. Pib or or whatever. <laughs> um, well, no, but, but see, that's the thing. And then if someone says, well, is Pepsi okay? You say, no, it is not okay, and I will have water, and now you don't get my $1.50. <laughs> Correct answer, Yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah, Pepsi's disgusting. In the States, I had a Pepsi here, and it was really good. Because yeah, they don't use high fructose corn syrup. Oh, now you've just you've done it. The entire uh, <laughs> corn... <laughs> Lobby, it will be angry <laughs> at Dion's stream. <laughs> <laughs> the seven sister choice here is is interesting. I don't know if that's that's a word for it. <laughs> Change that to the crit fire control system into tally and mod 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 spend that force. Two hits and a crit coming in. Four dice. Ooh. Taking two shields. At least. Yep. That is half points on tally. That's the worst possible roll. Yep. Archibald up 80 to 58. Tally shooting... At range three with no mods. And there it is. Would you have risked the direct hit? No. No, you, you absolutely uh, spend that force there, or focus there. Aren't there less direct hits now? Uh, yeah, there's five. Five of 33? Yep. Oof. Spending, spending Oof. a... About a one in seven chance? Yeah. It's not worth it. Obstructed shot, and he gets the target lock, and he's just going to go ahead and spend that focus for two hits and a crit coming into tally here. Obstructed takes one crit. That'll do that. Hole breach on tally, so wholly irrelevant. Oof. And <laughs> there is so much happening. <laughs> puts down the so range three. Oh no, no shot. I guess. I guess the arc isn't facing the right way. Whoa. 
Oh, oh my, my gosh. What is happening? <laughs> so we've seen some takes, variants this that, game. That takes one <laughs> on to... Uh, I mean, not that that's a huge deal, Vessary. really, but just preposterous. And safe. Somehow, <laughs> somehow <laughs> Seven Sister lives again on another turn that should not have happened. <laughs> I mean, she shouldn't be this hurt to begin with, but wow, right? Yeah. So that is 13 blanks. <laughs> 13 blanks on defense. I've I've had well more than that. I know I know because I uh, put my dice in prison, <laughs> and I know the games I've had bad dice when I run out. Yeah. So this was a, a, another insanely good turn for Archibald. How is Sister alive? I don't. <laughs> I I can't grasp it. The man. This is just this game. I'm glad we picked this one. This is absurd. <laughs> Uh, yes, we can turn off the dice. Sorry about that. I need to get into the habit of doing that because Dion normally does that. I just love pushing these buttons. Yeah, the stream deck is really cool. So it looks we're, we're probably going to see um, a quotation marks disengage from Tally, meaning that she's probably going to go this way or just go that way. But you probably you probably just go go out. And try and try and just survive, or you just go five straight. I don't think the five five straight probably clears. It would not not clears over here, but it doesn't bump. Seven sister is still in a really bad position, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think the I think the call for seventh sister <laughs> is to just go straight and then just one hard and just go down the board. Wow. <laughs> I think that's the call. <laughs> Cause this is so close. Now with with seventh sister already at half points, if she dies, I actually I don't think it's it pushes over the eighty point range. So that means they have to kill Vader. I I think she can pursue. <sighs> I'd worry about that. The sort of chances Archie has been taken that what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Oh, he set his dial wrong. Wow. Oh no. That's unfortunate. That is. Wow. Looks like that just sealed it. Because even if even if Vader and Seven Sister die. Uh, Vessary is higher on points, I believe. Right? It looks like I mean, it's <laughs> he got his, his dials mixed up. Uh -huh. Or not mixed up, but his maneuvers mixed up. And Always went into dials. the wrong direction. Always, check, Always your check your dials. That That's... You know, you never like to see that happen. That's oh, it's that hurts. Terribly unfortunate. Yeah, that really hurts. Going for a block here. And if I uh, if I were a judge or marshal at this event, I'd t I totally, uh, uh, according to the new floor rules, I'd totally grant James uh, 
a uh, necessary profanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that was an amusing clause in in the floor rules uh, uh, because you get a warning or, or oh, some penalty you, yeah. for unnecessary unnecessary profanity, profanity, yeah. So that was justified. Yeah, this is the this is the second time that he he mixed up his maneuvers. Uh, yeah, rough uh, rough break there. Uh, unfortunately, Dion is 1-1, but he will just pick it back up and win four in a row. That's right. <laughs> that really put a damper on a what was otherwise a really uh, a really yeah match. really yeah. That's. I mean, I, I honestly, like, I, I feel so bad. Like, and I, and I know, like, obviously, we have no control over that. But man, that's just. It doesn't look like he's going to fit that boost. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, that surprised me as well. Couldn't he have uh, rolled to get a shot? Yeah. Well, it looks like he was. Yeah, this this game turned on its head pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, range one. Checking to see if crack shot. Nope. No bullseye, so no crack. Oof. Oh, that would have been Mid interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I think. Archibald clearly said one. Yeah. And proceeded. Yep. But it doesn't. Uh, change the yeah, outcome. It, yeah, it's not going to change the outcome. Losing a full health. Ah. Uh, Uh, for three, uh, Tally can survive this. It's possible. <laughs> oh, there are the natties. Give us the natties. Tally's still surviving, but I, 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 there just isn't a way for, for this to come back at this point. Just on points. Uh, with, with one more round, most likely. Well then, uh, to run out the string, going back to the earlier talk about uh, just the squad, the mm -hmm. A-Wing squad, and um, how difficult a squad would you consider it to, to, to be, be? To fly? To fly. Um, and, and how does it slope, like to, to reach its ceiling? I th okay, so I think with, with the 5A, I, I really believe that when, with all the different initiatives, that you have in the list, like so you have ones, threes, fours. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I definitely think that there there has to be some level of uh, familiarity with how to engage and where to put your ships, so you don't like start running into stuff and that kind of sure. thing. So I, I do believe there's there's some uh, medium skill floor there, but once once you get that down, um, I think it's a very easy list to fly. But I think that there's there's a high enough ceiling that you absolutely can just can, can, it up, right? Slope yeah, it up. Yeah, and you can you can absolutely leverage um, the strengths of the A's. Uh, we got twenty twenty seconds left, so this is going to be the final round. I don't believe there's any win condition that uh it's it's almost like a magician or prestid digitator is swapping James's dials is yeah
he's he's obviously on super on tilt right now, and it's uh, it's it's just compounding. And, uh, and we all get it. Oh no, it it absolutely happens, and it's super frustrating. I, I've 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 lost a couple matches that way where I I thought I was slooping one way with a uh, oh no uh, with an IG to catch a fen route at one health, but I ended up sleeping onto a rock instead. Mm. Like, and then I, I took half points on it. It was just, uh, you know, it, it happens. It absolutely happens. And it's just, it, it sucks when it does. Mm -hmm. Going over the debris. Looks like just, uh, just trying to preserve points here. Rolling for damage. Nope, no damage. Yeah, so let's uh, and I, I think maybe that that actually was the correct move. I think he was more just be like looking at his dial and being frustrated that like that he made that mistake. Mm. I'm I'm very surprised that uh, well there's a chance that um, get some, <laughs> get we, some we, James. we've seen 13 blanks will we get 50 or 16? <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna have a range two with tally. Oh, uh, there's the twelve percent chance. <laughs> oh. And you I mean you just he's not even gonna spend it? Oh no, he he um he boosted and rotated, so he didn't even have two hits and spend the evade or no, spend the focus. Well, I I do respect the going down swinging. And that is the end of the game. Archibald takes the win, 58 to 118. Man, uh, that that took a lot of the him the that took a lot of the wind out of my sails. Yeah, I'm bummed. Um. Uh, just because you you never you never want to see that, and um, it was. Really unfortunate because it was a really tight game and it was really close and there was definitely a, a win condition for both of them. And uh, so, so well played both, uh, you know, James and Archibald. Uh, sorry, I had to end that way. That 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 hurts. Um, but uh, you know, sometimes it's just how it goes. So we are now on to giveaway time while they tally up all the, We're on screen. the I'm, stuff. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> so. Yeah, sorry guys, <laughs> that that it, that just really uh, really got us there. And I wasn't rooting for either one. It was just <laughs> like you just hate seeing that. Um, but uh, okay, so <laughs> this round uh, this round's giveaway sponsor is the Hanson Brothers Gaming. They're out of Sacramento, and they are doing uh, a Kickstarter right now for this really cool token system. Uh, basically, oh, there we go. Uh, token system that is magnetized that you can fit um, all all your third party tokens, including my own, into into these. And there, this is there just are, like there the, are others. There are others. Uh, Highbridge makes some amazing ones. <laughs> like, uh, and, and buy the same token if you're in the UK. So um, that will fit all of those. And we are giving this away at the end of round six, not today, or well, not now. But um, this is, you should go absolutely go check out their, their page. If you would like to get that information, just type in exclamation point euros, and that'll give you all the information for the day. Hi, Dion. <laughs> um, so now we're going to do some alt arts. All right, so just type in chat. You'll, you'll, you'll get in there. And here we go. We, we ready? We ready? We got two. All right. So first one is going to be an alt art Lulo. Lulo wasn't on the board, but he was there in spirit for the five A's. All right. So three, 
two, one. Cali Toolman. Congratulations. Uh, make sure to uh, type in exclamation point win, and that'll take you to another, another prompt where you answer all these questions and stuff. So now we are moving over to a double-sided Count Dooku pilot and then crew card. So here we go. Three, two, one. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, three, two, one. ATR127. Congratulations on Count Dooku. All right. So now we have a, a really cool Braylon Stram. In the gyroscopic cockpit. Yep. Uh, of the wonderful B-Wing. Uh, and he, he is absolutely the best B-Wing pilot. <laughs> um, so three, two, one. Oddball Narwhal. I like that name. That's really cool. And you have a really cute um, uh, profile picture. All right. So now we move on to probably the, uh, the coolest one, just because of the art. We have uh, an Alt-Art Vader pilot and then an Alt-Art Vader crew. And the, the, the art for the crew is really cool. So here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, Kayo was 05. Kayo was? Kayo. Kayo was. Kayo was. Exclamation point win. Make sure to put that in if you want to claim your prize. Otherwise, you'll never get it. So we will be back in just a minute with round three of the European Championships. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some more um, exciting games uh, like we just had, and um, yeah, Ho and hopefully for the duration. Well, yeah, yeah, hopefully for the duration. But, uh, but yeah, um, so we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> 